seeing. So we'll try this. Is this going to do something now? This is uh, called Live Producer. Ooh. Oh, see, now it's, okay, now it's got the live thing on there. So mm-hmm. now I think it's working. We will see. Is it on the Joe Show or Joe? It's on my page, my personal page. Hey, uh, Joe Malone Bailey's here. It's It's got a little eyeball that says one. Ooh, somebody's watching. Somebody is watching. I was trying to watch. Uh, now we're at three. Okay. So Ooh, how funny. do I, oh, oh, it went away. I don't know how I'm going to see comments. No. I have no idea. Uh, other than me. Oh, yeah. Can you monitor comments over there? I will try. There'll be a delay, though, yeah, just so right. everybody knows. That's all right. Um, New Facebook Lives, eh? Yeah. I saw hey, this. Starly's watching. Hey, Star. What's up? Hey, did you get the job? I saw your mom posted that you were um, applying for a job somewhere. I, I hope, hope you, you got, got the it. Job. Yeah, if you wanted to. Yeah. If you didn't, then I hope it was horrible and the interview just went bad. I hope you get a lots of money. Lots of money. All lots the dough. Lots of money. You know what's funny? Okay, so um, my first job was fast food. Mm-hmm. I worked at Hardee's on Round Lake Boulevard. You know how much money I made at my first job? Five seventy-five. Five fifteen an hour. Ooh. I've earned every single one of these gray she did hairs. Get the job. Oh, did she? At McDonald's. Nice. Yeah. Way to go. Way to go, Star. Um. Whatever Damien you do, says skull. It, skull, indeed. Whatever you do, <laughs> don't use Mick in front of any other four-letter words. I almost got fired <laughs> for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's uh, was a good job. That was my second job that I ever had was McDonald's. So right after Hardee's? Yeah. And then, um, oh, also, also, if you're going to um, call in an excuse I used one time, I can't come to work. My clothes are in the wash because you have a uniform you got to wear. Yeah. That was not true. Um, and so then I'm getting a ride to work and I had like a mustard stain on my pants. And so I'm just furiously trying to scrape off the mustard stain <laughs> off of my pants because my excuse was I was washing the clothes. <laughs> That's why I'm going to be late for work. And Melinda's like, watching. Hey, Melinda. What's up, everybody? Kathy's watching. Um, so, yeah, again, Joe, Bailey, uh, we're here doing football picks. Give a thumbs. Can you do thumbs up on this? I have no idea. Um, we're using the new live producer feature on uh, Facebook tonight. And so far, so good, I think. We'll recap. Last week, I got 10 right. Bailey got 8 right. That closes the gap to 2. Uh-huh. 2. Nail biter. I'm at 129. Bailey's at 131. Again, on the line, a spa day, or at least... That was somebody. Portion of it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go to bed, honey. Can you go to bed, please? Oh, honey. Can you go to bed, please? You want to do one football pick? All right. Remind me to tag the YouTube video that there are kids in this then. So, okay. That's a new thing on YouTube. Okay. Let me get you up here. Hold on. Let me get the let me get the screen pulled up so you can see yourself. Okay. Um Vikings and Chargers. Who are you going to pick? Vikings or Chargers? Chargers. Uh, get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Bedtime 6:30 tomorrow. All right. You got to go. Kiss. Let me get a kiss. <laughs> You ruined it. Why would she pick the Chargers? Why would you tell her she's got to go to bed at 6.30? She can't even tell time. Hazel, come here, hon. Yeah, I got her. Okay. I got her. Um, Josh is watching. Just so you know, he's going to deal with that. So I'm just going to sit here awkwardly until he gets back. Her feelings got hurt. Seven o'clock. Damage control. God, this is really boring. I'm sorry my kid came in here. She's very sad. If anybody else does parley picks, I'm just telling you right now, don't tell Joe I said this. This is a secret. They drive me nuts. They really do. He's horrible at them. Don't let your spouse do them. Oh, he's back. Don't say anything. Hi, Ed. New rule. 
Once you lose your sense of humor, it's bedtime. <laughs> That's the new rule here. So did you have fun vamping? Filling in? Well, at first it was really boring, and then I decided to uh, tell everybody something. What'd you tell everybody? I'm not telling you. Oh, You'll have to watch the video. I'll have to watch the replay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's a secret. I'm so out of shape. So, um, yeah, by the way, you owe her a, t- a hug. I told her it'd be about a half hour. So Okay. Um, oh, wait, wait. Hey, can I see comments here? I, I can see comments here. Oh. Okay, Brian, I did one um, bet. I did not do a parlay, and I won. And I have not done any more. Yeah, quit while you're ahead. Yep. Unlike me, where I've got the uh, under on the Timberwolves game tonight. So yeah, no. we'll see how that works out. Never bet. On Ukrainian soccer. Let me just throw we that out there, too. know something Joe doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Never yeah. bet on Ukrainian <laughs> soccer. That is my advice for you today as well. Um, all right, let's get into like, it. Like, why would you bet on Ukrainian soccer? Like, this is what I don't understand. <laughs> Where is the passion with it? This drives me nuts. So annoying. It was a good value bet. Do you guys want to know how much of our conversations go around sports betting and how much is actually about our life? Like 60-40? No, 90-10. 90 being sports betting. Hey, hun, give me a high five. Hun, give me a high five. Why am I high fiving you? Hun, give me a five. Because we five. just won. I just won. I'm like, whoa, how much did you win? A dollar eighty. A dollar eighty. <laughs> okay. I lost two bucks betting on Ukrainian soccer today. I gotta I gotta not do that anymore. Delane says hi. Hey, what's up, Delane? All right. Um, let's get into it. Jets, Baltimore. Uh Baltimore? Do you still need me to have my phone up? Um, if you can, that would be awesome. You don't have to, but okay. it's up to you. It's going to be one of those things where I have to like. Okay. Um, Seattle, Carolina. I think, yeah, I picked Seattle. You can go for it. I got, uh, I got, I got it here. I okay. can see everything. Okay. Brian, one parlay and one. I have I to know. close out of the Facebook so I can go see my bet. I got it. Yeah. We both got Carolina on this or uh, Seattle on this. Carolina's, Carolina. I was like, Carolina's in a free fall. They've wa- lost mm-hmm. like five in a row. It's not good. Uh, New England, Cincinnati. Why would New England need to cheat to beat Cincinnati? Did you I, hear about this? No. New England um, was evidently film. I, I may have all of this wrong, but they were, they were filming something involving Cincinnati and oh, Cincinnati's right. people that. filmed New England's people filming Cincinnati. But what would they be filming? I don't and why would you need to do any of this? It's the Bengals. They have a right. win. That's it. I don't know. Maybe they're scoping somebody out. It makes no sense whatsoever. Um no, New, it doesn't. New England is going to win this game. This is exactly what New England needs this time of the year because they have not been good, but No, they haven't. They really They've really gone downhill. Um, it is a get good game for them. You got New England as well. Mm-hmm. First toss up one, Tampa Bay at Detroit. Detroit um, handled easily by the Vikings. You Didn't go. cover the spread, but you want me to go first? Mm-hmm. Tampa Bay. Oh, that's who I have. Oh, look at that. Neither of us have faith in the Lions. You. I don't think a lot of people do. I tried to get one of my um, friends who sells unique to give me a discount at the Vikings one because she's a Lions fan. Yeah. And it was hilarious because she said no. And I said, <laughs> well, she's a businesswoman. Well, she's that's exactly what she said. She said, if I would if I would give discounts every time that the other team won and my team lost, I'd be broke. I'd be out of a business. Yeah. And I'm like, Especially if you're a point. Detroit fan. Yeah. Um, and she is. <laughs> first huge game of the week. Chicago at Green Bay. Green Bay. I got Green Bay winning this. But Minnesota's in the precarious position of um, not needing but wanting Chicago to win this game. Mm -hmm. Because if Chicago wins, that means Minnesota can close the gap with Green Bay. But if Chicago wins, that means they also close the gap on Minnesota. And so it's kind of a delicate balancing act of what to wish for in games outside of their own. Are we almost in the wild card? uh, We are in the sixth spot of the wild card because Seattle beat us. Oh, that's right. Otherwise, we would be in the fifth spot of the wild card. So, but let's, let's worry about uh, winning the division. Wild card second, division first. Uh, next up, Denver at Kansas City. Oh, you didn't say who you had? Green Bay? Yeah, I got Green Bay. Okay. I got Kansas City. I got Kansas City winning this game as well. 
Oh, want to trade me Ovechkin? Man, Tom, I'll get back to you on that. It's like two days now that I have totally ignored trades. I'll get back to you, Tom. Like I said. Closed circuit. If we're not talking about sports <laughs> betting, <laughs> we're talking about fantasy sports. Nonstop. Mm-hmm. All right, we both got Kansas City. I think everybody should have Kansas City in that. Miami at the Giants. Giants. I got the Giants in this as well. Uh, this will be Eli's game. Eli had a chance on Monday night. I didn't think the Giants at the uh, um, Eagles-Giants game was going to be that good Monday night, mm-hmm. but it was good. It was actually pretty pretty surprising. Yeah, it was It was ooh, overtime. Here we go. Eli's got a chance to win. Mm-hmm. Didn't. Uh, Philly won it, but... Um, this will be Eli's welcome back and then lead Sports Center with all the highlights of the Eli Manning face and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Now, the second, ooh, that's a good game of the week, is also Bailey's Hot QB Game of the Week. And at this point in time, I think we've all seen pictures of Deshaun Watson. We have. And Ryan Tannehill. You kind of got a you got a hankering for Deshaun, don't you? I kind of do. Yeah. I really do. So break it down for oh. me. What are we doing? Um, we are I'm picking. <laughs> <laughs> we up. are picking between Deshaun Watson or Ryan Tannehill. Who would you pick? Uh, my pick in this one is Houston on the road. Upsets, believe it or not, according to the bookmakers. Yeah, and I picked Tennessee initially. In my gut. Hmm. But if we're going by hot QB, I like Deshaun better. And so you're going with Houston? No, I'm still t- picking Tennessee. I'm oh. just saying, for the record, I'm picking Tennessee just because. Boom. I feel like they're going to actually win, but hotness-wise, I'm definitely going to Sean. Over Tannehill. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we're going to move on. Oh, what, you don't want to hang on and talk about? Hot QBs? Yeah. No, no, we're good. We've covered it. All right. We, get, we, we all get the shtick. Right. Um, Philly, Washington. I got Philly. I got Philly winning this as well. Washington's not good. Uh, Geis, Goose, Juice, whatever his name is, he's gone. I picked him up for a week in fantasy. That was dumb. Huh. Um, Cleveland, Arizona. I've got Cleveland. I've got Cleveland as well. Some of these games are just, eh, you know, yeah. why would you pick Arizona to win this game? You wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Would you want Odell Beckham Jr. on your football team? Do you know who o- Odell Beckham Jr. is? Heard the name. Uh, very diva-like yeah. with his behaviors. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a... I can't remember what it is that he did, but he got, well, did he get in trouble for it? He um, basically was with the Giants and didn't yeah. want to be there anymore. Got yeah. paid, went to Cleveland, and went now. To, yeah, he was a hopper. Yeah. And, like to call him. and now he is supposedly going up to opposing players and coaches after the game, before games, saying, get me out of here. I don't want to be in Cleveland anymore. Why would you want to welcome that onto your team? Yeah, the guy's got talent. But at what point in time is he going to get bored, you know, and do like the whole Randy Moss mid-career just implosion thing? Yeah, but Randy Moss was actually really good. He was. He was. I think the only place that um, that Odell can go and be good and be in control, mm-hmm. New England. That would be it. Other where, otherwise, everywhere else, they don't need he's going to try. No, they don't need him. He's going to try and push the boundaries. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. All right, we should get into uh, parlay picks this week. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six games. Do you still have the camera on me? Uh, no, I don't. You oh, want okay. it on you? Here, I can no, put it on you. No, that's fine. There you go. I just think that they're missing a, like a really crucial part of this when you do your parlay picks. Yeah. Okay. Oh, your, your face? Mm-hmm. Okay. One more close-up of me. Okay. Um, here is the parlay picks this week. See, I just roll my eyes the whole time. Okay. Just kind of like. Seattle. And this is all straight up. Money line. Seattle. Green Bay. Tampa Bay. Oh, no. Why would you do that? Pick Tampa Bay? I'm just messing with you. We both you... picked Tampa Bay to beat Detroit. I'm messing Philly. with you. Philly. Okay. We're pick. all in agreement there. Oakland. Game that we'll get to next, as you can see the thingy there. And Minnesota. That sounds very reasonable, doesn't it? It does actually sound pretty good. $10 to win 100 Parlay. Hold on. Let me hit the button here. Oh, wait. Have you won any of your parlays yet? Now that the camera's off you, no, I have not won any of my. (laughs) Not in this. I haven't won any of the parlays in this yet. But hey, there's still time. Just just say. There's still time. Parlay. 
if I hit this week and I hit next week, I may not make parlay picks on week 17. And then finish the season up 20 bucks. I thought you were going to do a parlay for the last. Oh, the last week? week. Just pick them all? Just pick them all. Yeah, why not? Who cares? Should we do a thousand on it? Are you nuts? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Why? <laughs> that was worth having the camera on you for it. Mm. All right, next game, Jacksonville at Oakland. Gardner Minshew back in control um, of the quarterback position in Jacksonville. Wasn't good last time around. I've got Oakland. I got Oakland winning this game as well. Um, the next game that we have to pick got flexed was supposed to be the sunday night game on nbc no longer the case they're allowed to do that um which Which i'm fine with it's weird though i'm fine with it i don't mind at all because i can't get i couldn't get monday off of work and i don't like staying up and watching a minnesota game because i'm just too invested in what's going on yeah and it ends up being like midnight and i'm listening to you know fan line and checking twitter and and then i gotta be up in four hours yep it's just not a good combo so i'm cool with this game getting moved back to three o'clock minnesota at chargers we already know what sent uh, our daughter to bed in tears what did she say she said chargers no i mean after that oh Wait, why was she so upset uh she, she was upset her? because of uh, me saying that uh, bedtime and um yeah told you and you gotta go give her a hug i know i gotta give her a hug okay you want an early bedtime, or are you picking Minnesota? I'm picking Minnesota. <laughs> I'm picking Minnesota as well. Oh, my goodness. That was her pick last year. Remember last year when you were sick? Yeah. She picked, she the, picked the Chargers. Chargers. Yeah. Not I against she us. she likes the Chargers. Yeah. Or it's the sort of thing. It. Anytime that you ask a kid something and it's multiple choice, they always pick the last thing you say. Yeah. That's true. Um, Test it out. It's true. Whoa. Where did I skip here? That's not what we want. We want Rams, Cowboys. I don't know what's going on. Le- oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Rams, Dallas. Rams, eight and five. Dallas, six and seven. Three losses in a row for America's team. Just getting wrecked. I picked the Cowboys. I picked the Rams. That's two different. You got Tennessee? Oh, no. You got Dallas? You're all about this. The Southern teams. Loving this. Okay, so all of my Dallas there fans go. out there, and by I say mine, the ones that are always like, Bailey, why didn't you pick Dallas? Or Bailey, good job picking Dallas. Josh, um, May May, and Scott. Shane. Shane. Everybody else. Okay. Throw a like on that for Tom. Boom. I'm just saying, if Dallas fails me. Then you're I, done? I'm done. Wow. <sighs> But um, hey, if they lose this week, they could still go eight and eight. No, they could still be. It doesn't matter. They though. could still be mediocre. Win. I do not need to be tied with you. I need a spa day, okay? <laughs> like, like our daughter. I told her about this the spa day, and you know what she says, right? Can I go? Well, that too. But she asked. She said, "If Daddy wins." Just don't give him the money. Yeah, see, that's not good. That, uh, but that, I. That's not. That's not. You want. I know, but it's funny because it's like she goes, "You don't have to give him." Is the it money. called welching on your bet or welching on your bet? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Because the one, I don't know what I don't know if welching is derogatory, but welching on your bet seems like it would be very derogatory towards the Welsh people. I'm gonna check it. Are you gonna Google that? Of course I am. If you don't throw it in the comments, is it welching on your bet It'll or welching right on your bet? My left hand is not working the greatest today. Um, Atlanta at San Francisco. San Francisco's going to win. Just say San Francisco's going to win. Say it. San Francisco. Okay, thank you. Um, what do you got? Welch or Welsh? Hmm. Do I need to do it? Old English. Old English version is Welsh. Welsh on your bet? Mm-hmm. So that is a derogatory uh, really term. Um, yeah. is a verb to rearrange as wow. to change a bet. What about Welsh on your bet? Have I been saying it wrong? Because I've always it, said the, or, w- it's Welsh. Welsh and Welsh are the same. Huh. Mm-hmm. To Welsh. Well, see, I've always pronounced it with a T, though. 
No, you don't. You said Welch. Yeah, Welch. No. You added an extra one in there. <laughs> That's how I spelled it in my Google, though. All right, so I won't use that term anymore. Um, I didn't know. And I wasn't using it to begin with anyways. Uh, Buffalo at Pittsburgh. Buffalo. Buffalo. Um, if Pittsburgh wins, they'll have the same record as Buffalo. Crazy wild card implications with this game. I think this will be a good one to watch. This is the Sunday night game of the week. And then finally, we have the Monday night contest. It is down in the Big Easy. Is that what they call New Orleans? Is the Big Easy. The Bayou. Mm. I don't know. Probably. I know Bayou. Um, Indy at New Orleans. Indy have a chance? No. No. New Orleans uh, will be winning this game. Marlon Mack. Even if they put out like all string, uh, third string. New Orleans? Oh, no. They, they would get beat. Indy's a good team. Mm. Indy's, Indy's right below Houston and Tennessee. Indy's a good team. They're all right. They're better than the Cowboys. They're not that bad. I have one final thing that I would like to say. Uh oh. And let me Is let this me just your apology? let me just put it to you like this. It's time for the fantasy apology segment. And I apologize that I was unable to use my awesome week of fantasy action for anything last week. See all the points that I racked up, all the points that I scored, all the touchdowns that I scored. All the yards after catch, all of the yards after contact, all the field goals, all the interceptions, the sacks, the defensive touchdowns, all for nothing. Do you know why? Do you know why all of it was for nothing? Yeah. Why? Because you had a buy. Because I had a buy. <laughs> I'm so good. I had a buy. I didn't have to play last week. I would have won if I had to anyways. Troy, you're going down. Let me just put it to you like that. Beat Troy in the regular season. Going to beat Troy in the postseason. Then we're off to the championship game. Doesn't really matter who I play there because I'm going to beat them too. Boom. Fantasy apologies. Did I apologize for anything? I don't think I did. Oh, yeah, I did. I'm sorry that I didn't get to use the team because mm-hmm. I was on a bye. Cool. So we're good. Um, Totally forgot to do any of this. Uh, go to mystar106.com and uh, make your picks. <laughs> Play along for free. You can win a pizza from the other place in Clear Lake. Win a grill from Lake Fireplace and Spa. Booyah. Bingo boingo. I wish I could get any of those. Guess what I get to do tomorrow night. Guess what I get to do tomorrow night. Go to the OP? No. I might, well, that'd be kind of fun, too. We'll see if we can fit it in the schedule. I'm going to the new the, the new place. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit buttons and make lights flash and make sounds come out of speakers. You're DJing? No, I'm well. I'm I'm paing at the new arena, testing oh, things that's out. Tomorrow, okay. Testing things testing. out. I'm so excited. Can you and tell? And then are you going to comedy night? Uh, no, comedy is um next Thursday. Oh, okay. And I I think I got Friday off too. That's two months in a row. I'm going to be able to go. Lucky. My, I don't get to go because I have to work. Fat guy in a little coat dance. And I'm not paying for a sitter. Fat guy in a little coat dance. Just bring him with. They'd be cool with it. No. As we can tell, you know, the kids are so well adjusted to being up late. Um, no. Can you do a video? Oh, yeah, I will definitely try and do a video. I'll see I'll see what I'm allowed to do. I think I was allowed to say what I just said. I'm not sure. Um, Uh-oh. Well, it's closed. Nobody else can go. You know, oh. it's, it's, I mean, it's not like a bunch of people can just show up and, and uh, be like, oh, I want to watch Joe hit a button. You can't. So. You're going to have all sorts of fun. It will be a good time. All right. Um, we're going to put an end to this. Thanks so much for watching. Um, Skull Vikes. Please let me win. I well, need a spot A. 